Hey guys, Gregory here. Today I have a really fun sing-along song for you. It's Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. The structure of the song is fairly simple. We have verses, chorus, bridge and outro. And we have just about five chords in it and they're all open chords. So let's take a look at it. So for this song, we are going to be learning it with the capo on the second fret. And if you don't have a capo, you can still use this video to learn the song. But when you play the song, it'll just sound a little bit lower than the original. So let's go through the chords that we're going to find, and there are just five of them. The first one we're going to come across is a G major. So that's the first finger on the second fret, fifth string, middle finger on the third fret, sixth string, and the third finger on the third fret, first string, and we strum all six strings for G major. And then we have an E minor, so that's the first finger on the second fret, fifth string, middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, and we strum all six, E minor. Then we have a D major, so that's the open 4th string, 1st finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string, middle finger on the 2nd fret 1st string, and the 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string, and we strum 4 strings, the 4th to the 1st for D. Then we also have a C major, that's the 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 5th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret 4th string, and the 1st finger on the 1st fret 2nd string, and we strum the 5th to the 1st for C major. And the last chord we're going to come across is an F. Now I'm going to show you how to play an F major 7. Um, but let's just call it an F for the remaining of the song. So the F goes like this. 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 4th uh, string. Middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string. And the 1st finger on the 1st fret 2nd string. And we really want to try to strum 4 strings the 4th to the 1st. If you accidentally hit the 5th, it doesn't sound so bad, but if you accidentally include the 6th, it starts to sound quite tense. So try your best to at least avoid the 6th string. So for this lesson, I've decided to give you two strong patterns, and that's really to create some dynamic between the verses and the choruses. Because the verses tend to have a bit more of a relaxed feel, whereas the choruses tend to be a bit more upbeat. But the choice really is yours, you don't have to use two strong patterns, you can just choose one and use it for the entire song. So let's take a look at those two strumming patterns now. So the first strum that we're going to be using in the verses sounds like this. And I'm playing down, 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 up, down, up. Over and over. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Now, to explain exactly what I'm doing there, I have some dynamics going on. So the first down that we're going to do is what I would call a bass strum. So for whatever chord we're holding, we're just aiming for the lower strings in the chord. So if we play the G, we're aiming to hit maybe the 6th and 5th strings, maybe even the 4th, okay? If we're holding a D, we're aiming to hit maybe the 4th and the 3rd. Same thing for the C, maybe the 5th and the 4th, right? We're just aiming for the lower strings. And then we continue. So we have bass, down, down, up, down. Now there's something else going on there as well. There are two other strums, two down strums in particular, that I'm accenting. And by accenting, I mean I'm just strumming it a little bit louder. Everything else is pretty gentle, and these two accented strums are a little bit loud. Try not to have it too loud, okay? So those two strums, two down strums, fall on beats two and four. So the first strum, the bass strum, is on beat one, and the other two are on two and four. So we have this one, two, three, and four. Okay, and you can see it in the way that I dip my head exactly where those downs fall as well. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 okay? All the other ups that are in between are really just gentle strums filling in these spaces. So let's practice that together after four. A one, two, three, four, bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, down, up, down, up, one, So the second strum that I'm going to show you is really similar to the one that we just did. All we're adding is one up strum. And this is the strum that we're going to be using in the choruses and the bridge. So to kind of just remind you what the first one sounds like, it goes like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And the one we're going to use now sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We're just adding one strum. 
but it makes a big difference in terms of the dynamic between the first and the second strum. So let's just practice it together. All of the dynamics are the same, so we still have the low first bass strum, and then we have the same two accented strums on beats two and four. So let's practice it after four. A one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play through some parts of this song to show you how to put together the strumming patterns with the chords and I want you to pay special attention to how I play the bridge. So what I'm going to do in the bridge is I'm going to deviate a little bit. I'm going to add my own creativity to it by adding some silence, strumming less, maybe even strumming a little bit more in some parts, nothing too technical. But the point is really just to show you that you can be creative when playing a song. You don't have to take a strumming pattern I give you and play it exactly that way throughout the entire song. However, this song moves you. If you want to strum less, you can do that. If you want to strum more, you can do that as well. Okay? So let's go into the demo. All my memories gather around her. My is lady So that is it for the lesson guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. But until next time, goodbye.